We're in Portsmouth, New Hampshire today, and I'm Barry Stevens, the National Sales and Marketing Manager for Zender America. And what we're going to be doing is filming a installation video for Comfo Systems heat recovery ventilation and ducting systems. It's extremely easy to install. It takes about half the time of conventional ducting. We're gonna show you today everything from uh, installing the diffusers and register boxes that d deliver the air to the rooms uh, or exhaust air from the rooms. We're also going to go through the ducting, which is our very much our, our uh, special ducting that we use. It's a double-walled, smooth inside flex duct that uh, distributes the air. And we're also going to show you how to install the heat recovery ventilator and its uh, manifolds and silencers and all of the components that make it all a system. So I put together a uh, scheme. We've got a uh, very simple set of drawings and we just indicated on here where our different diffusers and register boxes would be positioned. Supply and return and we've indicated where there are two or single ducts that will be run to those diffusers. These diffusers accept either one or two ducts. So we've got a single in this return here and doubles in these two returns in the upstairs bathrooms. Using this plan, we're first just going to take and lay out our boxes, put our boxes in the rooms where we're going to be installing them, and in effect, walk through and lay out the system. This is the kitchen area. We're going to be drawing some air out of, exhaust air out of the kitchen. What we want to do is put, this is planned on the plans for a stove right here. We want to keep these diffusers removed from that directly over the stove. We don't want to be picking up oil and grease from the cooktop. So what we're going to be doing is positioning them at least eight feet in a direct line away from the cooktop. So we're going to have one over in this area and we're going to have a second one over in this area in the ceiling and we'll put those in position. So we're just walking through and basically placing these different elements through the house so that when it's time to start putting things in we just walk through and put them up. Here. If you look at the, the construction in here one of the factors we do have is there's some I-beams running through here and obviously drilling through I-beams is a bit of an extra challenge. We also have some LVL beams that we can't drill through. So we'll be uh, positioning this so we don't have to do that. We're going to have a, a box here and a box here which is inside of that I-beam and we can go across in this joist and then over inside the bathroom here we have a chase above the ceiling. We'll be able to get over and then pop up through the top there into the chase and get our way to where we need to go. We have a supply in this small room here. And these placements are all approximate on where we want to position them in the room. You work with what you've got above as far as we'll be going through the bracket mounting and how they're mounted in place and uh, we'll get those all set. And we have a room in the back here, library, which will also have a supply. The last one goes around the corner here. In the bathroom. We'll leave the laundry room alone. There's going to be an exhaust out of the dryer in the laundry room. There's a lot of lint in the in the bath or in the laundry, and so that's kind of a uh, mixed a mixed decision on that. Some people like to have it in the laundry to take away some of that uh, heat and moisture, but we find that uh, he's going to be using a dryer vent, and we'll just leave that with that. We're in the upstairs. Again, we have three bathrooms, so we're going to have a return diffuser in each bathroom and we have basically four bedrooms. This is a multi-use room and we're going to have supplies in each of those. These are kids rooms, small kids rooms 
And so we're going to have a single supply into those two bedrooms. This is the master bedroom we're standing in. We're going to have two supplies in the master. And then on the end, there's a uh, multi-use playroom and, and uh, bedroom area with two supplies as well. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's it. <laughs> From here, we've laid out our, our plan for where our distribution is going to end up. We're going to go through and start mounting these diffuser boxes and register boxes in place. Basically, this is a very simple procedure. Now we're going to determine the best position and the best use of these brackets based on what we've got for installation. This is going to be positioned where the ducting is going to come from this side here over to here. And so we're going to be positioning this up in here. It's not going to make it to be flush. So what we'll do, we're going to have to be cutting this off anyway, so we're going to position these so that this mounts right up in, on those cross pieces. There are different configurations that you can use depending on what your bay depth here, if it's a wider you wouldn't be able to, to span that. I'm going to be able to just span this, and screw that up so that that's positioned in place. Yep. Basically what you're doing is getting this so that it's mounted, positioned in that bay. Very important as you mount all of these pieces of equipment, whether it's the manifolds or these boxes, the register boxes, keep in mind where these clips are going to be used. This clip is pulled out, the tubing is inserted, and then it clips in. In this case, if I mounted this against the ceiling, I wouldn't be able to pull those clips out. So what I want to do is turn those around before I install it and face them down. And make sure that these are pointed in the right direction. <laughs> Make sure you're not mounting them up in like this where your ducting would be uh, blocked off. Basically visualize your ducting coming into these, each of these units and how this is going to connect here. Just a little quick word to the wise or you have to go back and redo things. From there I'm just taking installing it inside this bay. And our first one's ready to go. The cover is on there so when they sheetrock it doesn't get any dust or anything inside it. And they'll just sheetrock around it and then we'll just zip it off. That's where the multi-tool is able to just cut it off flush very easily. When that's done and the sheetrock is mounted, And the diffuser goes right in flush with the ceiling. And this is a return diffuser. Okay. Here we are. Two down. 
what we're going to do is we're going to mount these flush. And then when we get up inside there, I'm going to mount a plate across that we're going to screw those to. Perfect, thank you much. There's that. Get these turned around. This room in here. I think we'll have to do the same thing in here. Now, in general, what we've something that uh, is part of the design is ideally you put the diffuser with supplies away from the doors. You want the air to come in. You don't want the the air diffuses around circuit uh, uh, 360 degrees around coming out parallel with the ceiling, but you don't want to put it right over by the door so the air just gets drawn out the door. So we're going to put it into the room and have it diffuse and go out. So that's it. These are your filters. It just plugs in with a regular outlet. And they put this on here for a reason, so that you make sure to put, and I can't stress this enough, this is for the drain, the condensate drain in the bottom. We've had some people that didn't put it in and it sucks air. You have to have a P-trap with a drain so that you don't draw air back up in and draw it into the unit. This is your, your supply and exhaust. Okay. And there's a diagram right here. So this is your supply and exhaust to the, to the room. Okay. So with the uh, manifolds. And this is your supply and return. The big type oh. pipes. These silencers are designed to either sit right on top of it next to each other. Okay. Or we can mount them sideways and then get a 90 degree that goes into here. So one's re supply, one's return. So these are meant to go one way, one direction or the other. I'll show you how this works. These are pretty slick. These just slide right on here. And clip that together. The other one is your supply. Okay. And these have these straps on the sides that you can tie them together with. These go on the other end. That sits right on there. If we pick this thing up, well, be careful. This is all of what? 20 pounds? So it doesn't need a whole lot. No. Those brackets should hold it. Yeah. And it's going to be right against the wall there and up a little higher to accommodate that thing. So somewhere right about there. Okay. 